Hello everybody, this is Carlos. In today's video, we're gonna go over NEWS2. Now, NEWS2 stands for the National Early Warning Score 2. The purpose of NEWS2 is to provide us with a standardized language to communicate with the physicians when our patients are deteriorating, and number two, to be able to catch early deterioration before harm comes to the patient. The score will be calculated simply by performing a full set of vitals, including the level of consciousness of our patients. Once the vitals have been performed, all of those values will be sent to our health information system, in this case, EPIC. EPIC will use those numbers to calculate a score based whether on the patient has been ordered a oxygen scale number one, which is for 90% of our patients, or a oxygen scale number two, which is for the COPD patients or for the hypercapnic patients. Based on the score, the higher the number, the more likely our patients are to deteriorate and decompensate in our units. The higher the number, the more frequent we are to monitor the patients and the more rapid our response should be in escalating this to the most responsible physician. Now let me show you with the Welsh Allen machines, which I happen to have one right here. All of our machines in our organization should be news to ready. If you find a machine that is not, please don't use it and send it to biomedical engineering. We will start by turning on our machine and performing our virus just like we usually do. All right, we have done a quick set of vitals on our patient over here, okay? And as you can see, these are the numbers that traditionally will be documented or will be transferred to EPIC. However, now that news to have rolled out, there's a little additional function here that you can enter so many additional things directly from the machine and it will all be sent to EPIC. So all you need to do is just go right under temperature where it says respiratory rate, and then these windows here opens up. All right, so this is a close-up to the vitals that we just took for our patient. As we saw, the blood pressure, the pulse, the oxygen saturation, and the temperature, those are the four standard numbers that the machine used to be able to do. However, now with the implementation of NEWS2, we can go to right here, right under temperature, which is respiratory rate, when you tap on it, we can put the respiration directly from it. Let's say this patient's respiratory rate is 19. After that, the most important thing, we have to make sure enter level of consciousness for this patient. Let's say this patient is confused. After that, you can put in your oxygen uh, with the patient's room air on supplemental oxygen. Let's say the patient supplemental oxygen and the patient is on a nasal cannula, okay? You have two options over here, percentage and liters per minute. This for high flow devices that uh, calculate the oxygen based on the fraction of inspired oxygen, FiO2 the liters per minute for low flow devices such as your nasal cannulas uh, or your regular face mask that will be uh, calculated by liters per minute. So since the patient is on a nasal cannula, which is a low flow device, we're gonna put in, uh, let's say the patient is on five liters per minute, okay? BP location, we can even put it directly from here. We did the pressure on the patient on the right arm. Keep scrolling down, BP position. Uh, whether the patient was supine, sitting, or standing. Let's say the patient was laying flat. The patient's pulse was regular. And the temperature, this machine only does oral, so we do oral. Once you've done all of that, just click OK, okay? And once you click OK, uh, after you have scanned the patient, you will save and send. Once you have printed out your barcode, your clinician barcode, how do you scan that into uh, the Welsh Allen machines? Very easy, you just go to the top left corner right here where you see this little snake. Let me touch the little snake, it's gonna automatically take you to this window that says clinician. All you need to do is just scan your barcode with the scanner, if your machine has a scanner, in this case, ours do. Once you scan your barcode, your clinician ID will pop up here and then you just click OK. What that means is that this machine will log in your username with all the vitals that you have done for any patients. And each patient will need to be scanned individually, naturally, so they can go to the proper chart, but you don't need to re-scan your clinician barcode every single time, only once is okay. Once you're done using your machine, you can go back to the clinician uh, window, either through the little snake like we showed you earlier, right? and either you can clear your ID, and once you click OK, you'll be locked out. Alternatively, if you forget to do so, turning the machine off, 
will also lock you out. Now team, as you can see, all our vitals that we previously did has appeared right here in our uh, Epic system. And because we have done a full set of vitals under one time column, Epic was able to calculate a new two score for us. All right, team, let me show you how Epic calculated the score of six based on our vitals. As you can remember, uh, our patient's respiratory rate was uh, 19, all right? So it will fall right under here. And because it's right here, no score. This column, all were zero. Anything in this column is were one, two, and three, and so and forward. Uh, so as many times as you circle it, you will count the t number of times that you circle it. For example, if you circle this three times, it will be two, four, six, right? So back to our example, uh, this patient has a respiratory rate of 19. So 19 will be right here. So zero points for that. The patient uh, oxygen saturation is 96. So it would be right here. Now remember scale number one, 90% of patients will fall under this scale. Scale number two would be for those patients with COPD or who have a chronic hypercapnic respiratory failure. Okay. So 96%. So again, no points for this one. Now, patient is on oxygen because he's on five liters nasal prone. So oxygen, two points. So we're gonna keep that in the back of our head. So patient already has two points. Uh, next, the patient's blood pressure, 144 systolic, which falls under this range. No points for that. Next, the patient's pulse is 92. 92 falls right here, right? So that's one point. Two plus one, we have, we have three points at the moment. Next, the patient is either alert or not alert or confused or comatose. So because the patient is confused, automatically gets three points. So we have two, one, three, six points already. Lastly, the temperature. Temperature is 30, uh, 36.9, so it falls right under here and no points. Because of that, we have two points uh, from the oxygen, one point from the pulse, and three points from the conscious for the level of, uh, for the confusion, which gives us a score of six. And that's how we got our news two score of six for this patient. Now, this score over here has a clinical significance because based on the score, we are gonna initiate a response and a frequency of monitoring uh, so that the patient does not deteriorate. Now, if you look at our uh, EPIC system, on this side over here, you're gonna see that the news two score is gonna appear right on this side. When you hover over it, everything is color coded. So you're gonna see that six, uh, as you can see over here, falls under the orange uh, side, and uh, it is a urgent response that is needed. So patients who score uh, five or six, um, vitals uh, and monitoring, we are supposed to do Q1 until the team comes and assess uh, the patient. And it, depending on your unit escalation matrix, uh, the patient should be seen within 20 minutes. So if it's anything red, any, uh, the patient should be seen by the team uh, within five minutes uh, because it is a emergency response. Anything that is orange, the patient, uh, the team should supposed to come and see the patient within 20 minutes. Uh, anything that is yellow or gray, it can be a war response. Now, um, it can trigger a yellow response if one parameter will have uh, a three score in one parameter. This is, for example, some of the patients that we know that they will have low blood pressure because they have uh, congenital heart disease or they, are, uh, or they have uh, congestive heart failure. So these patients will uh, sometimes trigger a higher score as their baseline. Now for those patients that trigger a higher score as a baseline, the goal of the News 2 team is to inform the team in a timely manner while we continue monitoring this patient until a decision is made. All right, now that we got a News 2 score of six and it's an orange response, and it's an urgent response, we're supposed to let the team know to come and see the patient within 20 minutes. So let me call the team to come and see my patient. Hi doctor, my name is Carlos. I'm the nurse for Mr. S. 
Yes, I just performed a assessment on this patient. His pressure is uh, a little bit hypertensive, 144 over 80. Uh, pulse of 92, he's regular. He, there is new confusion for this patient, though, which wasn't there before. Respiratory rate seems to be fine, 19, sighting at 96% on five liters nasopron, and his temperature is 36.9, he's afebrile. Uh, he's confused to a uh, person. Uh, and he seems to be a little bit weak also on the right arm. I'm a bit concerned about this patient that might be having a TIA. Uh, aside from that, respiratory wise seems fine, GI seems fine, cardiovascular seems fine. Could you be so kind to come and see the patient uh, soon, please? Uh, and we'll wait for orders from you. Thank you very much. Bye. Now that we have let the team know, they're going to come and see the patient within 20 minutes and a decision will be made. And that team is a short summary of what news 2 is intended to do. So number one, we're supposed to do a full set of vitals, including the level of consciousness. Number two, we're supposed to monitor the patient more frequently if the score is higher and if it warrants it. And lastly, we're supposed to inform the team to come and see this patient as soon as possible so that these patients do not deteriorate in the inpatient wards and they get the proper care in a higher level of care, such as an ICU or a CCU. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.